Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. <coughs> well, that was a good start, wasn't it? As I suspected, I did get ill, but so far, as you can probably tell from my voice, so far I've been lucky enough not to get the really nasty flu symptoms that Chris and Jude had. At the moment, it's just a horrible, horrible cold. But yesterday was Valentine's Day. I hope you had a lovely day. So happy Valentine's Day. Happy Galentine's Day or happy Valentine's Day. I hope you had a nice day yesterday. Whatever you did, if you did anything, Chris and I did absolutely nothing because we're both feeling really rubbish. But he did get me the best present ever, which is why I thought I'd do a video to show you. And this is what he got. <laughs> Ta da! Not only did he get me that, then a bit later in the post, he got me this, a double sized one as well. And if you have no idea what this is for, I'm gonna pull in this box here. This, these are my cotton reels, or mostly polyester reels, my threads, I think you know. And so I've been keeping them in this really lovely box, which I bought from World's Reclamation Yard. Oh, up a bit. It's really nice sort of rough old sawn with this iron handle. But although I did obviously put all the threads in rainbow order, when you're digging around for the right ones it all gets messed up again. So on these racks I can put all my threads. I am so excited. It's just it's just the best thing ever so I can put all my threads out on these things so I don't have to go searching for the right colour because there's nothing more annoying when you've got all your, you've pinned all the fabrics together, everything's all ready to go. You sit down at your sewing machine, you turn around to get the thread and you can't find the right colour. So, and yes, I was that girl who would spend hours in her bedroom and it's so sad, I didn't have many toys, so I would rearrange my colouring pencils in different rainbow orders. So I'm trying different ways to see which you'd get the best blend, you know, the best blend of colours, because pink is that awkward one, isn't it? Because you can't really fit pink in the order of the rainbow. So do you put it at the end after purple, or do you blend it in with the red? See, those are the questions you've got to ask yourself. So this whole video is just gonna be me organising my threads onto my new thread rack. <laughs> now for me, this is really exciting. For you, it's gonna be one way or the other, isn't it? You're either gonna find this really boring or you're gonna find it really relaxing. I'm giving it a go, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, you're one of the people that will enjoy sharing this delightful experience with me. So, without further ado, well, first of all, I'm gonna unpack this one. Oh, I need to get some scissors. So I don't know if I'm going to have enough of these little spikes for all of my threads. I do have quite a lot. When I started Threads of a Fairy Tale, doing the handmade side of things, I bought a few um, like job lots from eBay of threads, and then my friend Lorraine has so kindly given me loads that this whole bag is from her. Yeah, she's been very, very generous giving me the things that she doesn't use anymore. So, I don't know if it's all going to fit. I'm going to start by leaving all the neutrals, the blacks, greys and browns, in. I'm gonna, just going to leave them in the box and I will do the colours. And I think I'm going to start with pale pink at the bottom here and I'm going to start with red on the um, little one. So I will do it in rainbow order. So it will go red, orange, yellow, green blue, indigo, violet, and then lead that into the pinks. There we are. This is so fun. This is so fun. Obviously there's going to be a lot of rearranging while I find all the different colours. Uh, no repeat. Oh!
believe this and I swear I did not count this out but I have one cotton reel left over and I don't know if you can see there's one broken stick here which I've got here so I'm gonna mend that with a bit of super glue and then move all of these back up one so that right at the bottom here I can add my last cotton reel. I can't believe how perfect that is. I really can't believe it. Now the pinks are all fitting on so here's all the neutrals i have to admit there's a few here that i do wonder whether should be on the racks these sort of orangey browns i wonder if that's a bit more orange than brown and i thought these were brown but it turns out they're quite purple so perhaps they should be on the racks and oh also there's a navy blue that i thought was a black when it was deep in the shadows so it's not been 100 percent perfect but i am so happy i just i mean isn't that just wonderful Oh my goodness, this is just so beautiful. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful than a whole load of cotton reels all in colour order? <laughs> and I cannot believe all my cotton reels fit absolutely perfectly with just the neutrals taken out and put in this box. It's just fate, isn't it? I tell you what though, it's really helpful in working out what colours I need more of. I know what colours I need to look out for but I don't know whether I'm going to have to get sewing to use up some of these colours that I've got a lot of. I mean I, I can definitely do with using up some of these. Well I can't think of a better way to spend a, a day where I'm ill really. That's just It's just cheered me up. I can't tell you. I was feeling so miserable because I just feel awful and then I thought I can do this today and it's just made it all all right again. That's that for this little video. It's not a proper vlog or anything. It's just um, a little catch up, letting you know what's going on and what I got for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do so below. It would mean a lot to me and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.